Yes, I think that's good enough. <laughs> that is perfect. All right, welcome back to the workshop. This week's, uh, this this episode's project is this. Uh, we're starting off with this cylinder end cap. Okay, this is the flexi chuck, and uh, the way this works is this this aluminium uh, part here screws into the end. It's a product by Eccentric Engineering. So. The important thing to remember with this, which I always forget, is to make sure it is not expanded when you try and loosen it, which it was. So you loosen that off. There we go. And you can see the way this works, when we push this in like when we expand this it pushes this cone into into this um, consumable aluminium piece and that causes it to expand now it comes with this uh, locking collar which is a good idea to put that on I've never had it unscrew, but I also haven't used it that much. Right. Now what we're going to do, that's on nice and tight now, is um, we've got to machine out this. This is from a previous job. I'm going to bore this out so that it fits our boss. So this boss here will fit in there, and then we'll... Um, and we'll do that, we'll machine that out while it's flexed. So we need to make sure that it's flexed open. You can see that. You can see that goes, that it's closed and that's open. It's only a very, probably quarter of a millimetre, something like that. Okay. <clears throat> Clean up that surface. Now we'll come out. And zero that on our DRO. Now we can take a measurement. Take a measurement of the old gasometers. We want to come out 304. Yeah, that's better. This is how fast I actually machined the cast iron. Now that we have a reference outer diameter, I swap in the lower cylinder cap. Those two the same size, we can use another one of these to hold them this way out and then we can bring this down so it fits inside our cylinder. It's really handy to have a few of these blanks so that you can swap between them. Only a couple of millimetres relief is needed and the chuck holds very securely. It's also guaranteed to be perfectly concentric. Seats pretty well. 
So we've got one flat surface. We can flip that around, pop that in there. Clean up this, this face here. Perfect. Now let's just Now we've just got to machine this side of this end cap and of course we could machine out all of this but it's kind of wasteful and these are expensive. So what I decided to do, make a piece of aluminium that fits over that end there and I uh, super glue it on and then machine it put it in here and then machine it down I can then flip it round and uh, hold it just machine that out a bit to hold it and do this side and it should be uh, just as accurate I set off So that aluminium piece fit over the end boss, lovely, and I put a little bit of CA glue, make sure it doesn't slip. Alright, I put the indicator on and wiggled it around a bit and it's really good. Yes, I think that's good enough. <laughs> that is perfect. Okay, here's the setup. Um, we've got the cylinder end cap here and I've made this uh, aluminium spacer and we're set up on the center of our cylinder and I've put in the pitch circle into the DRO. We can drill out the clearance hole size for the studs for the cylinder and we can go all the way through and the aluminium will prevent us from uh, damaging the cylinder with the clearance drill and the other thing is that this is uh, tacked down with a bit of super glue to keep it in place so we should be pretty good <laughs> It's a good idea not to drill all the way through the cylinder flange. It looks bad, it can leak steam, and it's a good way to break a tap.
Don't ask how I know. Alright, so we got there in the end and uh, we've made our end caps for our cylinder and I've gone ahead and bolted everything up so you can see where we are. We've got the the cylinders now mounted on the on the on the bed and I've put the bed on to the the base. So uh, it's starting to look like an engine which is starting to get very exciting. Um, it looks like we're very parallel with this um, cylinder rod. I still haven't done the piston yet. Um, the end caps look really good. They're really parallel. Um, it's coming up really well. Um, I did leave these end caps oversized uh, based on what on the plan they're supposed to be the same size as this flange and uh, I think I'll leave them that way because um, I can paint up to that edge and it'll be a nice break. Um, so we've still quite a bit more work to do on the cylinder before we're finished. We've got to do the exhaust port and mount the steam chest. Um, so that'll be future episodes. Uh, just like to say part a lot of this uh, episode was kind of a review of the flexi chuck. Uh, this is how the flexi chuck comes. No sponsorship, um, but uh, I really like it. Um, inside the box you get this is this is all the stuff you get. Obviously mine's a bit used. Um, I've got the set with three of the. Um, of the uh, consumable aluminium chucks I guess and and the mounting and the mounts I ordered came with a uh, came fitted with a a Myford thread and uh, I'm a bit of a sucker for any you know for people who support Myford stuff for a lathe that hasn't been made for probably 20 years uh, I think that's pretty pretty amazing to to get to be able to get accessories for it one of the other accessories that I've had for a lot, for quite a while is this uh, made also by Eccentric Engineering is this collet chuck. Uh, it's a ER32, I think it is, um, collet chuck, which is super accurate, and I use it all the time. And it also get, works with the um, the, tor the tornado. Anyway, so um, thanks for watching, and um, see you next time. Bye for now.